Hey guys, welcome back to the Ride Bike Waxing in UK One Wheel channel. So, back on to snowboards in this episode. Done a lot of skis recently, and also done a lot of boards. I've got a few more over there, and this workshop is filling up nicely. So there's plenty more videos to come before I jump on the Classic Mini, which is my love, which is behind the camera here. Um, just toying with the idea of actually putting a new engine in that thing. Um, I've been offered one. It's just the cost is just insane. But anyway, back to boards. I have a beautiful Solomon Pulse 156 in the workshop. And yes, once it's serviced, it will get the Ride Right Waxing sticker treatment. And you only get one of those stickers if the board comes across this bench. And that's the most important thing because it means all my love, soul and heart goes into everything that I do. And then the customer has an awesome time on the mountain. So here we go, one Solomon. Not too bad at all, um, to be honest. It's got a nice burst and stomp pad on there. Very nice top coat. We're going to give that a good polish. We're going to give it a good detail. We're going to swap over from the ski bindings to a snowboard binding. But first of all, let's pop you in my hand and have a detailed look at the base of this board and see what's needed. And then we could do the before and after at the end of the video. So do stay tuned for that because that's always nice to see because you can see how well it's come up and well it's going to perform on the mountain. I'm rambling on. Let's go, guys. Let's have a quick look at this Solomon. So here we are. One Solomon Pulse. To be fair, not bad at all. I'll give this top coat, it's quite a good shine on it. We always look for the strip light, um, but we'll give this a polish up. And that way then hopefully it will repel a little bit of water for the first few days. And we're gonna flip this over. And here's the base of the board. So what is needed? Let's have a quick look. Uh, we've got obviously residue of wax, which we need to tidy up and we'll get that sorted. Rails aren't too bad. We've got a little bit of corrosion just here, which will get sorted out, but we'll get these definitely tuned in and get them looking good. Uh, got a couple of high spots just here uh, and down the rail. I think there is some P-Tex, which I found somewhere uh, just down here. We've got a bit of a hole just there. We'll get some fresh, clear P-Tex put into that. The rest of it should come up very, very nicely, to be honest. And we've got a little bit of a groove just there we'll get that sorted and uh yeah some uh, i can say some discoloration there on the rails but yeah ov overall not too bad at all might be a nasty scary down through here but we'll get that looked at and make sure this looks tip top and ready to go nose is all pretty good but yeah solomon's this board was made in china i think i'm right in saying this model but if that's the case, you know it'd be well made well. Top coat, not too bad. There's not really a lot I can do with this top coat lifting just here. It's just where it's been nicked in the uh, chair lifts. But uh, yeah, 156 in length. So there we go. I'm going to pop you on time lapse. I'm going to stick some tunes on. And we're going to change these clamps over and give a detailed look at this board. Like I say, get rid of all of this. And this colour is going to come all the way across. We're going to have a rich side. Um, taking that whiteness away, as you can see just there. Here we go. Let's detail this Solomon. One Solomon Pulse, fresh out the hot room. Been sat in the workshop now for a good couple of hours. So this wax is really nice and cold. And we're gonna get the scraper nice and sharp. We're gonna get this wax off. And I think we're gonna see a massive difference in the base of this board. From where we have before, to obviously what it's gonna end up with. The rails are super, super sharp. We've dull and tipped the ends. We have polished that top coat, which has come up absolutely lovely. We've got the Ryback Wax and Service sticker on there, which is obviously paramount. And uh, yeah, so we're going to get the brushes on this after getting the wax off and get it polished up and looking mint. So stay tuned, guys. Bit of time lapse, bit of music. Let's crack on and make the Solomon shine. Here we go.
So there we are, one Solomon Pulse, all done. And I think you'll agree from that before and after, it is mint, this board. We have got rid of all the dry edges down the side. We've got great definition between the rails. The board is super sharp, very, very sharp. And uh, yeah, very polished. I think you'll agree, that's come up lovely. Great shine in the base. Lovely and flat, lovely and smooth, but literally from tip to tail, you've got great colour in that base. You can read that word Solomon, you can see the core through the wording, and I think you'll agree, that's come up lovely. This board's going to absolutely fly. I'm really, really pleased with this. So guys, thank you very much indeed for watching, tuning in, but more importantly, please hit that like button, because then this gets exposed to other people. Share with your friends. And obviously subscribe. And in the description below, once I get around to putting it in there, you can support the channel. There's two ways. Buy me a coffee or you could be on a monthly subscription. And basically you can get all the insights of what's going on. I've got my classic mini build. Trying to buy an engine for that at the moment. But that is mega, mega bucks. And uh, I need to buy myself a new apron because this is falling apart. But guys, for Maribel to one Solomon, this thing's going to be hitting things like that behind me and having an awesome time. Thanks for watching, and until next time, we will see you soon.